Okay, so next thing we want to do is we need to be able to figure out uh, how many items are returned from our query. So just so we can make sure that our username's in the database. So what we want to do is we want to call the MySQL underscore num underscore rows function. So the MySQL num rows function will allow us to determine how many rows are returned or how many items are selected from our query that we've done above. So uh, essentially, if our username is found in the database and because our registration page only allows for people to have only one person to have a username, um, so there's no multiples of anything. Our num rows function, if the username is found, it'll just return one. One. So we simply just say if num rows equals equals one. And yes, there's two equal signs. Make sure you have those, or else you will get syntax errors. Then we want to say, uh, or then we want to have our else, and we want to say our for our error message, um, the username you entered was not found. Now that we've checked to make sure that our username actually exists, what we want to do now is we need to get some information about the account that uh, that username has. So we need to be able to get our code and whether or not that user is active. So we're going to create a MySQL, uh, or we're going to create a row variable, and we're going to use the MySQL fetch a sock function, a double -S -S -O -C. So we need just a uh, single parameter in there of query, of our query. And then we need to get our code. So db code equals dollar sign row and then code. And we also need to get our active value. So db active. Um, now what we want to do is we want to make sure that the user isn't already activated. So if they are already activated, it's kind of useless to, to activate them because they're already activated. So we're just going to put in an if statement and we'll say if db active equals 1, or actually if it equals 0, which means they're not already active, else we want to set our error message to this account is already active. Yeah, that works. Um, then after this, we want to make sure our code is correct. So we want to say if db code equals equals dollar sign get code. So if our codes are the same, we want to activate the user. But if the codes aren't the same, obviously we don't want to activate them. We're going to have our error message saying your code is incorrect. Um, so in order to activate the user, we need to update the database. And um, it, with the database, to update it, we have to run a query. So MySQL underscore query. So instead of running a normal query like we do, uh, saying something like select all from whatever, what we want to do is instead of select all, we want to say update users, which is our table name. And we want to set and then what uh, the values we want to set, or the field that we want to set with whatever value. So we want to set active equal to 1, so that will activate the user. And then we want to say where username equals our get user. So essentially, we want to update the user's active value where the username equals user. Now, it's very important that you have where username equals get user. And if you don't, that will activate all the users in the database, which obviously would be bad. So, after that, um, you can do one of two things. You can simply display the message saying, you've been activated, go ahead and log in. Or, we can actually make sure that the user's been activated, and that's what I'm going to do. So, we're going to create our query again. So, MySQL underscore query. And we can go ahead and just copy our message here, or our query up there. So select all from users, where username equals get user. And then we want to say, and active equals one. So we just want to make sure that the user has been activated. And then we want to create our num rows. With our query as our parameter. And then our if statement. And our else 
saying an error has occurred, your account was not activated. So if our numbers equals equals one, which means if the user has been activated essentially, we can just tell them that they've been activated. So your account has been activated. You may now log in. All right. Then we want to go ahead and clear our get user so we can just set it to nothing. And we also want to clear our get code. And that's uh, following the same principles of our register page. So after they've been activated, we don't want to refill in the form for them. So now that we have cleared our get user and our get code variables so they won't be displayed inside of the form, all that's really left is a matter of testing the activation page. So well, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just first test this with the Nick Frosty account to prove that you cannot activate an account that has already been activated and my code is 12345 so 12345 activate this account is already active alright so we're going to try to activate the admin account now and if we just leave our code the same go ahead and hit activate your code was incorrect and if we change our username username is not you enter is not found so obviously those error checking are working so if I go ahead and paste in the code this is the actual real code um, in the database for the admin account. If I go ahead and click activate, you can see your account has been activated. You may now log in. Our form has been cleared. Um, and if we reload the database, our active value has been set to 1, which means the user is actually activated, which means uh, that pretty much is the activation portion of the member system series. So. Um, really, the only thing that is left is the forgot password page, um, which I will be doing next. And after which, if I get enough requests for it or enough feedback about it, uh, I will do a resend email activation page um, if it's requested. So don't forget to check out those videos. Don't forget to check out my website, follow me on Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube.